Well, hello to you all. This is, and I often say this, a pretty exciting day. It's my first video of 2023, and I'm starting with probably one of the most iconic routes in the UK, and certainly in Snowdonia. And as you can see all around me, I've got fantastic winter conditions, and the route that I'm planning to do today and to film is the mighty and quite incredible Kriebgorg. The approach from Penna Pass is a nice easy one, staying right and breaking up to the pig track which will go on to the summit of Snowdon or Rwydva in Welsh to take its local and proper name. But this route eventually reaches a shoulder and a col where there's a distinct junction that breaks off for the path up the northernmost flanks of Kriebgorg and if I turn now that's just coming into my view and the route takes you up this big broad ridge and then breaking out onto the face and eventually almost like a pinnacle stone at the top you step round that pinnacle stone and burst into view is this incredible ridge that's renowned across the UK amazing in the summer superb in the winter but not to be underestimated and certainly shouldn't be attempted without proper understanding of kit in either of the seasons and also some idea of navigation but it is one of the most spectacular routes in the UK and I think today with the sun just as I break out near that col it's even going to be warm despite the temperatures being somewhere around one degree or zero Celsius. This is turning into one really beautiful day. Got the sun over on my left shoulder now, it's even warm in my legs. A word of warning of course, winter walking and winter climbing in the mountains of Snowdonia, in particular in the UK, the weather is so changeable, it's coastal. You need to be so cautious and spend time checking weather forecasts before you even consider committing to the mountain and always be ready to make changes to your plans if something unforeseen happens because things do change very quickly up here and even on a day like this a slip or a trip could cause a serious issue but that doesn't mean don't do it it means be prepared and do it well and have an amazing time now gone for an intermediate solution between poles, crampons and axe and quite often that's getting your axe out putting your poles away but still not needing your crampons and your axe becomes really useful just for planting your hand on this steeper ground for a little bit of security whereas your long poles have just become a liability always keeping your axe in this position with the ads out in front and in your uphill hand as much as possible so that if you were to slip and the conditions were right you'd get into a position for an ice axe arrest.
here I am, breaking out above that broken and loose section. It's a little steeper onto the final broad ridge. And there's the summit of Snowdon, looking so beautiful today, coated in white, and the whole of the Snowdonia area in view in this glorious sunshine. I'm just arriving at the top of that ridge. It doesn't take long to get up here, just a little bit of effort. Here's that small pinnacle stone which announces your arrival. The start of this most incredible geological feature, Kreebgorg. go then. One of the most spectacular routes in Snowdonia, especially on a day like this. This section of the mountain, known as Kreeb Gorch, which means Red Ridge, is created by glacial features. Come glass below me, one of the most magical places in Snowdonia, and the glacial valley heading down through Llanberis to the sea on the coastline beyond. In some places, this is a really intimidating route, narrowing in some sections to only the width of a house brick. There's quite often an option just to drop down to the left, possibly to the right, to make an easier step. It's about the closest thing to an alpine ridge that we've got in Snowdonia. After traversing this knife edge ridge, you reach the highest point around halfway along Kreeb Gorch at 923 metres, around 160 metres lower than the summit of Snowdon that you can see in the distance, with a full crowd of people on it. And the difficulties don't end there, in fact they probably increase because from here on in you have to navigate some down steps and round some pinnacles and even a couple of down climbs and back climbs. So I'm just going to take my time, enjoy this, and just make the most of these really brilliant conditions. That's pretty much the last of the difficulties on this route and actually this finish which is a series of down climbs not to be underestimated and all of the excitement and glamour of the narrow ridge probably will be in your mind when you come to do this route but you need to know whether you're capable of down climbing sections short sections that might be a little bit more technical and a little bit tricky and once you've got to this point here and you've reached Bulk Gorch, you've got options of carrying on up Arigain, up Kribadiskel, which is that fantastic rock ridge there that has some difficulties that go a little bit beyond Kreeb Gorch, in my opinion, and on towards Snowdon Summit. But one of the best routes off once you reach Bulk Gorch, just down below me, is to break off to the right down into Cum Glass and back into the pass there. So I hope you've enjoyed this video on Kreeb Gorch. Kreeb Gorch on one of its best days for sure. Really enjoyable with these 
conditions and this incredible snow. And just finishing with the most amazing view out over Snowdon and the Snowdonia range beyond.